So we're going to talk about uh, two really great uh, trading strategies, the butterfly and the long condor. And these are strategies you can use for any type of trading environment, but they're exceptionally good when you're in a kind of more extreme high volatility market or uncertain type of market environment because the structure of the trade keeps your risk so low based on the capital at risk uh, and the returns on that risk are, are actually really extremely high. So they're, they're great strategies for any kind of condition, but uh, we're gonna go through it and you'll see all the, the flexibility that you'll get from using these types of option strategies for your trading and for hedging. So the following presentation here today is purely for educational purposes. Any stocks, options, futures, or ETFs mentioned does not constitute advice and should not be construed as a recommendation. So for me, the, the, the real secret to trading profits uh, really comes down to direction, timing, and then you know managing your risk through the use of options. And I call it a lot of times uh, opportunistic risk management because with options, using it as a hedging mechanism, there are just so many things we can do to a trade to to reshape the trade, to reduce the risk, and, and just a lot of different things that we can do. Now, you know, when trading options, they have so many more advantages than just selling or trading stocks. But as you probably all know, they can be a bit more complicated as well. But once you understand the benefits and the advantages of options and option spreads, you're really never going to look back. So when used correctly, option spreads are going to provide you defined trading risk. It's going to lower the capital that you put up for each and every trade. And that's going to give you a greater trading return on you know this leveraged capital and they're unmatched as far as hedging now i've been trading options for over 30 years and i've found uh, that the most valuable go-to option strategies that can literally help any trader out there more than any other trading uh, strategies uh, and especially during extreme market conditions are the actually the option butterfly and the long condor so kind of like i call it my secret trading weapon now, the huge advantage of these strategies is that they're a unique uh, option framework that's designed to take advantage of time decay, theta, and then volatility. So those are the two main option pricing components when we price an option. And what this does, it really helps to stack the trading odds more in your favor, uh, and it can be used in any type of market environment, which really makes them a great trading strategy for uncertain market conditions uh, if you just know when and how to use them. Now, because they are structured to require only a small amount of your hard-earned capital, your trading returns on your return on capital can be very explosive. Uh, and your trading stress is going to be lowered and, and, and really becomes a lot smaller than if you're just constantly just trading outright options or futures uh, without any kind of hedge or spread. So to me, sometimes, it, sometimes I kind of refer to them as lightning in a bottle because you can do a trade with a butterfly or a condor and you, you can have such low risk that your returns can be very explosive and crazy as far as the return on your capital or return on your, your risk. Now, when we look at the butterflies and long condors, they're very dynamic and they can be traded in, for a variety of different reasons with you know, different goals in mind. So in other words, when you learn how to use these two strategies, you're going to be both covered for offense or your profits and your defense for hedging, so goals and protection. Now, they can work no matter what the markets are doing. It can be in an uptrend cycle or down or sideways market. They can provide income from stocks that are going nowhere. Uh, helps to eliminate the stress of having to be perfect on a stock's direction or overall market. Helps to eliminate the time decay expense that you're going to encounter from just going long options. and really helps to take the unsettling guesswork out of your trading. Now, these can be structured for very low costs or low capital at risk. And this is what offers you these really tremendous uh, returns on your capital of 10 to 1 or even higher. So I'll go through a bunch of different examples to show you how, you know, how these actually work and can give you these higher uh, rates of return. But let's be real. These option spreads will not give you that unlimited profit potential like just going out and buying calls but they're usually gonna cost you a lot less than buying outrights, and they're gonna offer you an amazing risk reward trade setup. So this means that the butterflies and long condors can significantly increase the probability of your winning trades, but at the same time, reducing your risk. And that's really what it's all about for me when, when it comes to trading. I, I look at that risk first, and then what is my return potential on that risk? Now, the butterflies and long condors, they're also really great for hedging when you mess things up. 
So they can become a really fast, low cost way to cover your, you know what, pronto when positions start to move against you. And I've found no other hedging strategy that even comes close. So by constructing either a butterfly or a long condor around a strike that is under pressure from another core trade, such as let's say you do a credit spread and it becomes, you know, the price starts moving towards your short strike, you know, so what are you gonna do? Or, uh, you know, a debit spread that starts to go, to go against you. So this can become one of the best ways, best way I've found to immediately neutralize and lower that risk. So, you know, if you do credit spreads, this is what, from one of my members after she learned how to use the butterfly hedge, she said, wish I'd known how to do this hedging before I lost so much money doing credit spreads. So that is so true. If you've been in credit spreads and doing credit spreads, you know you can have nine out of 10 are fantastic and you have that one sour one and it ruins your whole, you know, return on those other nine. Now, when it comes to hedging though, this is really where you can get a great advantage. So you can basically keep your original position open and just by implementing either the butterfly or long condor hedge on that, that original position, uh, this is where you can start to really neutralize things. So by this, what it does is it takes advantage of the time decay component of the spread. So, you know, why you wait, and many times that's all you need is just a little time for that trade to settle down you know, stabilize, uh, and a lot of times it'll go back in that direction. So just that little bit more time you, you're buying from this hedge uh, can really improve your trading in, in a great, uh, you know, to, to a great extent. And the other thing too, is you're getting paid while you wait because of the selling side component of this trade or spread. So, you know, when it starts moving back in your favor, then you've got some options. You can either remove the hedge and ride the trade, the original trade, or you can leave the hedge on and just usually a lot of times it can just, uh, go out as a butterfly. Now, when we look at the uh, construction of these types of trades, they're very actually pretty simplistic. So let's say you have a call debit spread on and you've got a risk of $300. Now it's a defined risk of $300, but I always try not to lose the whole capital at risk. So we could easily, without stopping this thing out, we could easily adjust this quickly into a butterfly. So what we could do is sell another vertical spread, a credit spread against it, and then reduce the risk that way. So I could sell a, a bear call credit spread or something vertical against it, and in this case, bring in $200 credit, and then I've converted or adjusted this to a balanced butterfly. So this is what we call a kind of the tent, the butterfly is the tent or profit zone, and up at the top of it is your maximum potential profit. Now with the, the butterfly, then you can see that, you know, it's basically you've got the, the two spreads. You've got a debit spread here and a credit spread here. And if it goes out in your profit zone, you can make a great return, but look at the risk. Now you've reduced your risk down a hundred dollars, but you still have potential for a big return, which is gonna actually give you a greater return on capital than the original trade structure. Or you can, you know, close out one side or the other and do a lot of different things to it, or you can add additional spreads, credit spreads to it, some to make ratio spreads and things like that. So there's a lot of flexibility with this type of structure. Now the long condor is one of our favorites because what we do, we use the long condor a lot because what we can do is we can widen out this profit zone. So the butterfly is great, but the only disadvantage is you've got a narrower profit zone. So you really have to thread that needle to get your max profit but we can go out and spread this, this out and have a bigger zone for your profit, for a bigger profit zone. So a lot of times we'll have maybe a, a start out with a certain vertical spread and then we might convert it to the condor to reduce risk and also reduce theta decay and give us a bigger zone and reducing that capital. So we'll do it for two basic reasons, reduce risk, but also then to give us a bigger positive theta so we have no theta decay. So really great uh, advantage there. Now let's take a look at the core concept that make the butterfly and long condor uh, a, a dynamic strategy to use. So the most important option factor for profit generation uh, with options, uh, and especially when we're looking at kind of income kind of type structures like the butterfly or long condor strategy, comes down to really understanding how option pricing works and that concept of time decay or theta and the effect that it has on the price of your option. So when we look at you know, uh, theta, what theta does is it tells us how much your option price will go down over time. 
So it's the rate of your time decay of that stock option. And this time decay occurs because the you know, extrinsic value or time value goes down every day. And at expiration, it's zero. And it accelerates in the last 30 days and starts really getting more accelerated each and every day. It, it increases. So at the end of the, the contract or expiration cycle, it's zero. So we can take advantage of that when we do strategies that offer kind of a selling component like a butterfly or long condor. Now, when we look at the butterfly and long condor, let's take a look at the structure here. So here's XYZ, it's trading at $45, and we're looking for just a little directional trade move down to 43. So you can do this for small moves, big moves, whatever. So here's a directional target. So I always have a target before ever putting on a trade, always have a price target. Where's your profit target? Where's your you know, exit targets, et cetera. So in this one, we're looking for a target to 43. So what we do when we're constructing, when I construct a butterfly is I'm gonna use that target as my body of the butterfly. So we call the butterfly, the body of the butterfly or short strikes. And then the long, the wings are the long part of the, the trade. So in this example, let's say we buy the April 44 put and it costs $2.38. So that would be $238. And we sell the 43 put against it that's going to be bringing a credit of $1.67. And then we sell another 43 put, bring in another $1.67. And we buy the put below it to cap that risk. And, and that's going to cost us 106. So if you add it all up to 238 plus the dollar six on the debit costs minus your credits that you brought in, the cost of this trade, if you did one butterfly, would be $10 per spread. That's all. That's your max risk. Now, if you look at the profit, you just take your strike difference, 44, 43, a dollar, or 43, 42, that's a dollar. So you take that less the cost of the trade, 10 cents, that's the debit paid. And then that would be then leave you with 90 cents times 100 to make it into an option contract. So here you can see theoretically, you can make $90 on one spread and your cost is 10. All right, so that's a you know 90 divided by 10, that's the nine nine to one or 900% theoretical or potential return. I call it theoretical because a butterfly you'll never get it exactly, but it's nine to one, so you risk a dollar to make nine. That's those are fantastic type of risk reward ratio, and there's no other option strategy or spread that will give you this kind of return. You can literally make 11 to one, 10 or 15, sometimes 15. It's crazy. That's why I call it kind of sometimes lightning in a bottle. So it can offer you these kind of returns on this really minimized capital at risk. Now, how do you choose the best butterfly or condor? So it basically comes down to your trading goals, really. So one major goal, so for every trader, in my opinion, is to look to select trades that are gonna be uh, providing you the most consistent positive returns over time with low defined risk and not always the biggest return. So one of the best ways to achieve this is by being aware of the different option strategies that are available to you, then understand how they work, and then select the one that's gonna be best suited for your trading goals, your capital that you have, or your time to trade, and the market environment you're trading in. But one thing you'll find out if you do you know, go in and want to use the butterfly or long condor is you can do it with any size trading account. So you could have an account size of $1,000, or you could be a big hedge fund with you know, millions of dollars and do these same strategies. So when we look at the butterfly, there are different variations uh, to the butterfly. So I kind of call it the butterfly family. You've got a long call or put butterfly. You've got what we call the broken wing butterfly, you know, using calls or puts, sometimes called a skip strike butterfly. You've got the ninja butterfly, which is what I call the, it's an unbalanced or ratio butterfly. You've got an iron butterfly, and then you've got another category for hedging using the butterflies. And then we go into the long condor, which is, a very, very similar to the butterfly, but gives you a bigger profit zone to work with. So let's take a look at there's some different trade examples so you can see how these things work. First, we'll take a look at the butterfly. Now, when we look at the butterfly spread, we can adjust our risk and profit by the wingspan of the butterfly. So if you think about if you are looking to capture or you know get a butterfly, you know if you have a really big net, it's going to be easier to catch catch that butterfly right than if you've got a really really tiny net so we can adjust the the pr profit and risk based on this wingspan of the butterfly so we can make a really wide butterfly to give us this bigger potential profit zone 
but it's going to cost us more so we'd have more capital at risk or if we want to keep our capital at risk real low we could make a really narrow butterfly all right so if we do capture it this is the one that's kind of like lightning a ball so if it goes out right at your target and you've got a very small amount of risk you can have huge returns on that capital at risk and sometimes we'll refer to those as kind of a lotto trade because literally you could you could put a trade off for ten dollars and make 10 times that. So let's take a look at a few. So let's start out, we're gonna look at a narrowing butterfly that's gonna be $100 wide. So this is on SPY, the ETFs and index options are great. So is SPY, the ETF for S&P 500. So I like to use Fibonacci for targets. So here's a swing high to low. And then I also like to look at any option activity, unusual option activity. So in this example, we were looking for this price move to, to potentially 273, 274 based on this Fibonacci level, and there was a lot of option activity there as well. So we did a really low risk butterfly, do it a, a $10 wide or $100 wide butterfly. So if you break this down, what we did on this trade example was we bought the 272 call, we were targeting 273, so we sold that. So there's a call debit spread. Then we sold the 273 again, bought the 274. So that gives us a narrow, wing butterfly of a dollar or a hundred dollars wide so 72 73 dollar wide so a hundred dollars per option spread the cost of the trade was 10 cents or ten dollars debit cost that's the max risk so your potential profit would be 90 dollars if it went out exactly at the body of that butterfly at 273. now this didn't hit it exact but it went out with 70 dollars per spread profit on that ten dollars risk so that's a 700% return. So, you know, if you're talking to your buddies or your friends or your whatever, and you say, hey, I just made a 700% return, they might think you're, you know, you're full of it. But in reality, the butterflies give, can give you these type of returns all the time. So you can see 70 bucks, but on a risk of 10, that's 700% return. So that's per contract. So if you did one, you know, you make $70. If you did 10, you make 700, et cetera. So these can be very scalable, you know, dep depending on what you're you're trading. Now here's another example. This is going to be well. Here it is, the profit zone. So you can see this is the analytics on Thinkorswim. So it's going out right there on that purple area right there. So it's going out right there at 273. So it went from you can see here 10 cent debit to 80 cent debit. So that's 10 dollars per per option spread to 80 dollars, and that's your profit of 70 dollars on that risk of 10. Now here's another example of a butterfly and we've been using these really for a lot of times for shorting the market. It's been very hard to short the market. So when we do a short, a lot of times we'll do it using a butterfly. So here's an example of a short trade that we structured on SPY for downside move using the uh, butterflies. So it's trading right about here at the 292, 293, and we were looking for a move, our target was down to two, 387, I don't know, 392, I always say 292. So we're looking for a target down here to 387 based on the FIB levels and price support. All right, so we structured the butterfly targeting that area. So we bought the 390 put, sold 385. Okay, so put dev spread $5 wide, then we sold then we, we sold the 385 again, bought the 380 under it. So bull put credit spread, both $5 wise, so it's about, so $500 spread width, cost of the trade. Here's what makes it so great is the risk on this trade. If you're trying to short the market and it goes right back in your face, we only had 50 bucks per spread at risk. Now your potential profit though would be 450 if you nailed it perfectly at 385, but we know, we know we're never going to get it perfect, but if we can just get close to that, that's a potentially huge return. So this would have a 900% return if you, you nailed at 385 at expiration. But this actually went out, we were, we were just trying to capture some profit as it uh, you know, had this uh, move down. So we took $86 per spread on the risk of 50. That's still a fantastic return on your capital of only 50 bucks at risk. So here's what it looks like. So you see that big area there, that's what's still left a potential profit from the timed component and volatility component that makes up the spread. So it's going out right here. We went ahead and, and closed that out uh, when it was trading at our target 387 down here in this area. So it went from $50 per spread to 136 
and there's you know a profit of 86 per spread on that risk of 50, so 172% return. Now here's the really amazing thing. So this is you know if you want to play some of the bigger price type stops like Amazon or Google or or Tesla, butterflies are a great way to do it because you can get your capital at risk super low. So here's a thousand dollar wide spread on Amazon doing a directional trade, uh, an upside trade using a call butterfly. So Amazon had been you know hitting here at support and we were looking for a target here to 1830. All right, so we were gonna do the trade. So here's the difference. So if you went out and you bought, when Amazon was trading at 1,782 and you bought 100 shares to make it equivalent to one option contract, you'd be forking out $178,000 for 100 shares. So if you did hit that target at 1830, well, you made $48 per share, and that'd be about a 2.69% return. But look at your, that's a huge amount of risk, actually, $178,000 for 100 shares. But constructing the same trade, we could do it with a butterfly. So in this example here, we did a butterfly where we bought the 1820 call, targeting the 1830, sold that, sold the 1830 again, bought the 1840. So it's a $10 wide spread or $1,000. But look at the risk of this trade. Our capital at risk for one option contract equivalent to 100 shares would be $80. All right, $80 versus $178,000. And look at the potential return. So a thousand dollar wide spread, 80 bucks risk, 920 would be the theoretical potential return. That's over you know 1150% return. Our risk a dollar would make 11 and a half if it went out exactly at 1830. Now we were looking to capture you know just a slice of this, and but here's the other pretty cool thing about the butterfly. Here it was in the morning on the day of expiration on the sixth in the AM. So about 9:30, 10 o'clock AM. Now at that point in time, it was trading at 1836 right here. So it was trading at 1836 and it was up $150 where my pointer is. So it went from 80 cents or $80 per, per spread to $2.30 or $230 per spread. So there's your $150 profit on your risk of 50, 80, and that's still a really great return, 187. But this is gonna go up four times more just the same day, but four hours later because it's going into expiration. So look what happens here. So later in the day, same day on the sixth expiration, now it was trading very close to the same price, 1832, but now the spread was up $614 per spread versus earlier in the morning, 150. So it had increased at four times and your return then you can see is up 769% return. Now that's because of the construction or the the dynamics of the spread because your short time and short volatility, and as you go into expiration towards the end of the day, all that gets sucked out. See, that's very little left in that black. That's what makes the potential for this to be a really huge winner. See all that? That's still potential profit there left for this one day into expiration. And then, you know, sitting on it until closer to the close, it just sucks out all that additional profit. So this went up four times uh, the amount in just uh, you know three or four hours later. They're not complicated to close. Question is, are they complicated to close? Now, when you look at the butterfly, remember, you can break it down. There are two different types of vertical spreads, right? You've got a debit spread vertical, and then you've got the credit spread. So you close one or the other, or you can sometimes close them all together. But if you can't close it out as a butterfly all at once, then you can close one side of the spread, close the other side, et cetera. So a lot of flexibility there. Now, here's an example of a long condor. And these are great because it's gonna give you a bigger profit zone. Uh, also gonna produce a, a, a trade where you have positive theta, so you're not gonna have any theta decay or time decay. Gonna lower your capital at risk, so it's gonna offer you potentially big return on your capital with also um, fantastic for hedging. This is kind of the first step in hedging that we usually take. So here's a trade that we set up last week. This was on Microsoft. And it was really, if you were watching Microsoft last week, it was a real head scratcher. So we went long right here uh, last week. This was on the 23rd, right there, okay? Now it looked like we were looking for this to, to really break out hard to the upside, but it, it got stuck here. You know, the bonds were, interest rates were, were going higher, et cetera. It was, it was messing with the, the big cap tech stock. So, it pulled back and you can see how Microsoft just stuck in this range. So what we did the next day on this day here, when it's pulling back, we, we 
converted this to a long haul condor, okay, by selling a credit spread against it. So I'll show you how this turned out. So we we, we set it up and, and Microsoft was trading at 239. And then on Friday, this thing exploded to the upside. It was trading, you know, over 242 up to 243. And that's uh, where it went out. So let's take a look. So the trade initially, we set this up as a uh, call debit spread. And then after an adjustment, we adjusted it, the price down to a, a call condor where we had $51 of risk per spread. All right. So we only had $51 of risk and the potential though max profit, if it goes out inside of our profit zone here between the two spreads, the long spread and the short spread, the max profit would have been $199 per spread on the risk of 51. So that would be a 390% return on your capital at risk. Now this went out, exploded right into the close on Friday and it was trading, you know, it was traded up to like 240, almost 243. And so this was then up 197 though on the risk of 51. So 386% return. So it went from $51 up to 248. It was actually higher than that. And that was on Friday. So this was just from, you know, hedging this thing, adjusting it when it started to pull back. And uh, it gives you this really big flexibility to, to, you know, sometimes you could say pull a rabbit out of a hat. So you can see the structure here, the max loss would be 51 and the potential max profit if it's between the two uh, spreads of 242 and a half, the debit spread and the 245 would be $199. But here's the, the thing I always look at first is that risk, 51 bucks. If you got it wrong, you lose $51 per spread. So, you know, if you did 10, you lose $510. But if you did 10, you might close make to close to making $2,000. Now, here's another really good example of how these things can be fantastic for hedging. So what I call opportunistic hedging. So here was a trade that we did a um, short trade using SPY. So we did start it out as a put debit spread. So I always plan the trades out. So if the trade, I always have a kind of a action plan, you know, kind of like a chess game, T take a couple of moves in advance. So we were thinking, okay, if it moves down to our target here about 271, how can we maybe uh, make this even into an even better trade? So what we're going to do is we hit down here, you take some profit and then see if you can adjust it to a butterfly or condor for z zero risk. So you can see here, the trade was set up, a nice trade, 273.70 put debit spread, so $300 wide spread, so $65 of risk, good structure there, very low risk to begin with, but what's been happening every time you'd short, it was, you know, the markets would snap back. So with this, when it hit down to our target of around that 270 area, took profit on par partial profit on the position, so at that point it was $98 per spread, that's 150 percent return, but rather than taking the whole trade off or waiting, we converted the balance into a bull put by selling a bull put credit spread into a put condor. So we sold the 268 put, bought the 265, brought in $65 credit, that offsets the debit cost. Now we have a free trade. So we have a free trade with zero risk. We can sit, sit, uh, sit back and see what happens. And so it was going out right about here. So 271.33. So we went ahead and at closing it out there, we had a profit of $164 per spread, but on zero risk. So if you look at it, trade one made $98 per spread, but by converting it or adjusting it to the Condor, um, we made 164 on the balance and on zero risk. So that's where you can really do some really uh, great things with these types of structures if you just know how they work. Now, if you'd like to learn more, on how you can master these high reward, low risk strategies, option strategies that can work in any bar environment, uh, two things that you can do. So hopefully, you know, you got some good ideas here today, but if you'd like to master it a lot faster, uh, I did a course on this in just this past February, which was a six or turned out seven hour course on the uh, butterfly and long condor. So this is a, a special offer for everybody here today. Just use this link here and uh, I'll show you everything you'll get. So you're gonna get my Options Master's Butterfly Condor course. It's a seven plus hour course that um, is broken down in, in the modules of 30 minutes or less based on the chapters of the course. And then you're gonna also, and just for $97, it's amazing. If you go to my website, you'll see this same course. It's listed for 497.
but you're going to also get my Options Beginners course. It's a brand new course that's going to be part of it that you'll get as a bonus, and you'll get my Options Beginners program course as well. So you can really kind of start having a nice trading library uh, of option type of courses, and these are two bonus courses here. Now, in addition, we'll do a live follow-up Q&A. We'll send you a link on that. It'll probably be in a week from now, but you'll get that. And it'll be live plus recorded, so you can come in and ask questions about anything. I mean, the butterfly or condor. And also, then you're going to get my option trading tutorial, which is basically another option course on the Greeks and probabilities. So you'll get that as an additional bonus. You'll get my option manifesto, which is 15 different option strategies. You'll get that as a bonus and my power tool guide. So this is a, the Greeks that you can print it out, put on your desktop. Uh, and then the other really big good support thing here to help you out, I'm gonna give everybody here that signs up for the course here today, a one month trial membership to my trading club, which will then give you access to my virtual trading room, open each and every day. So it gives you even more support. So once you go through the the trading course, you know, come into the to our trading room and ask questions on the course, or if you need help on any kind of trade, just come in and ask, or you'll see what we're doing in the room as far as new trade setups. So you'll get everything here for $97. So just use powercyclotrading.com forward slash fly one. You should be able just to click on that link. Let me make sure it works. And in the, click on that link and it's good to go. So you can use PayPal or a credit card there. So let's go through the bonuses. And if I have time, I'll take whatever questions you have. So first off, you'll get this brand new course, which I did this February, 2021. So it turned out, uh, ended up a seven plus hour course, broken down in modules like a chapter book. Now this is yours forever. So even if you don't stay on as a member of the trading club, uh, you, which you'll get for 30 days, uh, it's yours forever. So you can come back if you lose your password to get in, you know, we'll give you a new one. If you do wanna stay with our trading club, you know, it'll be $97 a month, or you can do an annual membership for 488. And also, if you don't want to start your membership today after you buy this course, send us an email and you can start it whenever you want. So if you want to start a week from now or, or a month from now, we'll, we'll do that for you at no, no you know, cost. So this is a step-by-step -step blueprint course on the butterfly and long condor. So when we go through the course, you're going to, I always start off, I like to start off with the Greeks that are kind of important or vital to these two types of strategies, the butterfly condor. So, you know, how theta decay or time decay uh, impacts uh, the, the butterfly condor, uh, how volatility impacts it, the importance of it, and then, you know, how option pricing works so you understand the concept of the, of the trade and what, what makes it work. So, like, looking under a hood of the car, you know, what makes the car run, that's, this is what I like to do, so you understand the concepts. And then we do, uh, in the course, we use what I call uh, price target mapping using Fibonacci and standard deviation to map out our targets, always have a price target. So you'll learn how to do that. And then you'll learn the core basics. Most people just don't understand the, it's, the, 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 it, it's a mystery as to how does the butterfly condo work. So I kind of demystify all that. And then we go into each strategy with examples of how, why, and when to use a long call or put butterfly, a wide wing butterfly, a broken wing butterfly, the ratio butterfly, broken wing ratio butterfly, iron butterfly, vacation butterfly, long condor. It's always like bubba gum shrimp. So you'll learn every variation here with you know examples. And then I go through what are the best time frames to use? You know, should you use stocks, ETFs, what are the best things to trade? And how do you actually get, where do you find those trades where you can get 10 to one or higher? So we'll go through that, what to look for, how to structure it, and then how do you how do you profit from option volatility collapse and that theta decay? And then another really great part of the course, which is also pretty cool, is in this course we, we cover how to trade what we call option pinning. So every month we have monthly option expiration. So next week will be monthly expiration. And so in this course we cover how to take advantage of what we call pinning, where we're targeting a certain strike to go out at expiration and how we can uh, you know trade against that using the butterfly. So you'll learn how to do that in the course. And then um, the next thing we get into is the long condor, this structure, how it works and the benefits of it, how, why, and when. And then a big part of the course, a very important part of the course is the last chapter, which is hedging. So I go through, we start out with the progression of hedging. How can you hedge a, a shares? How do you then convert, you know, say, let's say your long calls or puts, how would you hedge that? 
and then how we adjust and hedge using the butterfly and condor to hedge a core position, or how would you use a butterfly or maybe a condor to hedge a vertical debit spread or credit spreads. If you're doing a credit spread and it starts to go against you, you're worried about it. how can you hedge that? So very, very extensive part of the course is uh, dedicated to that, to hedging. And then, you know, step list, a checklist of when to put them on, take them off, execution, trade management, resource list of, you know, what is assignment risk, expiration, auto exercise, how that works. And then you get a trading library of to look back at other trades of butterflies and condors. And I think that that, to me, that really helps you learn if you see other trade examples. So very extensive course. Here's a little bit of feedback. I'm about to run out of time, but this is from one of my members that just took it. I've never seen anyone explain options like this. Excellent. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Very informative. No one has anything like this. Wish I'd found you sooner. Thanks again, Alicia. And this was from Pam that, that commented on those credits. For it. She said, I wish I'd known how to use this hedging before I lost so much money doing credit spreads. So bonus package, you're gonna get my options trading for beginners, brand new course here, uh, broken down in modules. So you get that PowerPoint videos on that. You'll get my options beginners home study package, a four hour course there. So another bonus course for you. You'll get my follow-up Q and A, so live and recorded. So you'll have access to that, we'll send you a link. My option trading tutorial, basically another option guide uh, trading course, 60 page guide with videos on the Greeks, standard deviation, opt option delta probabilities. And then my 15 option bonus guide here of different 15 different other types of option spreads like back ratio spreads, straddle strangles, what they are, how they're constructed, when to use. And then my power tool Greeks here. So, but the other really great bonus is the free trial membership to our trading club. And with this, I have a virtual trading room open each day during the week. And I'm the one in there every morning and then back for the close on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, but every morning during the week we're open. So if you have anything, questions on any trades you're, you're looking at or, or, or things you need help on, you come in and ask questions and I'll help you out there. And then we do, I do a daily video newsletter uh, after the close every night. And then I do, we have our, our Q and A every, usually every Tuesday live and recorded. So you have access to that. And then educational vault, a lot of good educational material for free uh, to all our members and discounts of 6% off on anything on my website, courses and my trading software. So it's a really great deal. And uh, hopefully uh, uh, you guys and gals will sign up and I look forward to working with you uh, down the road in the future. So that's pretty much it. I have, I think two minutes left. I'll show you a really quick trade set up here that um, we set up uh, the other day, yesterday. We did a, uh, an Amazon trade just to show you, we did a vertical debit spread and then we did an adjustment if you, uh, to convert this to a long call condor. So we sold a vertical credit spread way out of the money against it and we reduced our risk by that. So now we started off with a risk here from the debit spread, we had a risk of, uh, i get this back real quick, I'll show you. We had a risk here of $247 per spread and we had increased our theta, positive theta by selling this credit spread. So now we've got a huge profit zone in here, reduced our risk and have potential for a great re bigger return actually. And also look at the big fat positive theta, $21 a day. So these are things that you'll learn in the course in uh, how, why and when to do kind of hedges and spreads like that. So look, yeah, thanks Casey, look forward to working with you. And again, thanks everybody for uh, giving me some time here today. Good luck trading.